Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you this World Cup round of 16 tie. It's England against Qatar. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here. But whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. And here's the Qatar starting 11. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. And the match begins. Shaw, Phil Foden now. Well, four years ago in Moscow, I remember watching England take on Colombia, wondering if England were going to end the penalty shootout jinx, which they did. Oh, Derek, there's a chance here. And keeping it out. Well, it's impossible to escape the conclusion that Harry Kane is just a thorough professional. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, Derek, I expect him to score again today because he's got four goals in the last three games. He's looked outstanding when he's been running in behind. And I expect him to cause this defence all sorts of problems today. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Has a go. It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, not cleared away completely. Oh, great attacking play. A goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Hassan Al Haidos. Now let's see what they can do here. 
and fine goalkeeping. Trying to pick out a teammate. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well read to put an end to that attack. Foden. Here's Luke Shaw. Stones. Walker now. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Saka. Excellent passing. Well, the supporters think it's on. Bellingham! Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Playing it in. Well, it has come to nothing. Henderson. And on to Bellingham. Can he do it? Oh, great block. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And England pushing forward with options available. Now this could be productive. Declan Rice. Oh, showing excellent vision. Interception to snuff out the danger. Foden. Walker. Going well. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Foden, Bellingham, oh a really crisp effort, but just wide. Now well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. Oh, good looking run. And so it is, the first half story has been rated. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal! Calls for celebrations again! Two in front! Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place. But give him some credit, that's a good finish. Great composure. So, back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Delightful pass. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Who can he pick out? Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. England moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? A well, disappointing end to the move. Ahmed. Hatem.
And back to Bellingham. Foden. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back on side. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Akram Afif. A potential danger here. But nothing comes of it. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Well, England have controlled possession, as you can see. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against. Harry Kane! And it goes! Well, it's one goal after another. A highly impressive performance. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So, underway again, and England really beginning to run away with this now. The scoreline threatening to get ugly here. Homam Ahmed. al -Haidos. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Phil Foden. Kane. Henderson. The supporters want to see him have a go. Body in the way. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Foden. Well, let's see about the cross. Taking care of business defensively here. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. And a substitution in the offing. Abdulaziz Hatem. And that pass needed to be a lot more precise. Bellingham. They've regained possession. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Foden. And he's through here. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. Lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Well, he has the measure of his man, but a good piece of tidying up. Foden and Bellingham. Oh, there it is! It's one goal! And it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. been one-sided but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going and we are going to have two additional minutes Karim Budiaf really good challenge 
Phil Foden. And now the end of the contest. England have made it through to the last eight. Well, it was all at a bit of a canter, to be honest. They dominated pretty much from the start, and it left the result in little doubt. They'll be full of confidence going into the next round. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Well, he didn't have his best game, but he still played a part in the team's victory. He certainly made a contribution.